Hi everyone. I have uh, some things here I want to go over and these are textures that we can make in Photoshop. And I've got some here to show you. Um, and basically what I do is I'm, I'm always out gathering images. So uh, I take pictures of a lot of things. I just archive them. I have folders uh, full of imagery. Um, different kinds of textures I might see. It could just be pictures of anything, right? I mean, we have this ability to gather a lot of information and archive it for later. So um, I'm gonna delete, we're not gonna look at that one, but uh, skip over it. Okay, so uh, here's some of the things that I gathered, um, I don't know, the last few months to share. This is, um, actually was in the elevator and this is right after they had taken up the, the old tile before they uh, put in the new and i just thought it was kind of a interesting texture there's a lot of pieces um, to look at uh, this is the ceramics uh, floor um, a lot of cool stuff in there um, you'll see how effective this can be shortly this is um, the beam right next to where I sit in uh, Mahan 3. And this is a brick, close-up brick uh, shot from inside the classroom as well. And what I did is I just went and brought them all in here to uh, Photoshop, they're all my layers. And I'll go through those in a minute. And basically what I want to do is show you um, how I use two of those and then one other effect to come up with this texture here. Okay, so um, let's look at it. Got all these images. Um, one of them I didn't show you in that preview is this one. Um, this was a door that was being made for the addition. Uh, I took this probably end of the summer maybe and uh, thought hmm, I could probably make something with that. It's kind of got that mesh screen. You can barely see Shipman. Library, you probably wouldn't know what that was unless either I told you or you look through here. Anyways, so um, all the same stuff. Now, uh, layering, of course, is uh, crucial to, to Photoshop as well as the placement. So what I'm going to do is bring this beam to the front. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to name all of these. And let's call this one uh, floor. And a new one here shortly. Okay, so uh, this is kind of a nice contrast. Um, what I end up doing is uh, going through, I start playing with blend modes. So right now, I'm going to turn off all of these except for the brick. Um, actually, I take that back. I'm going to turn off the brick, and then I'm going to turn on the door or door that's not quite built yet. And I'm going to change this blend mode here to multiply. And you can't really see anything yet. Can't really tell the difference other than it's darker. Okay. So not a good example yet. So I'm going to open up this brick. And I'm going to do the same thing. Multiply. Now all of a sudden you see that it's starting to blend a little bit. Looks kind of odd. And maybe you go through these different modes and kind of find something that kind of works. As you can tell, like, there's a lot of weird things to look at in here. Um, and the effects, um, you know, they, they either vary or they don't. You know, they might vary greatly and some might be minimal. Um, at the same time, if you find one that you like, you can go up to the opacity and turn this down. For more of an effect than not, 
um, and just keep blending. So um, that's a start right here, okay? Now, what I had done uh, previously in, in this one here is I went into um, the uh, filter tab. But first, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this cloud. I'm going to go into filter, render, clouds. I click that. I got clouds. And if you look over here in the fill, it's reflecting the same color onto these clouds. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to roll with this. That color was there from something else. And I'm going to go back into the filter. I'm going to go into liquify. Now, the machines um, in the lab are very powerful. Um, and doing what I'm about to do uh, there is much easier. Uh, they process so much faster. And what you might find is doing um, these steps, your machine might bog down. You might get the spinning wheel. Um, and that can be very frustrating. And it could possibly crash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these tools here. This is called the forward warp. And basically, I'm going to stretch these clouds out. So it looks, well, liquefied, I guess. And i play with that. These other ones in here, there's this twirl. You can see kind of twirls things. You can actually come up with a nice uh, wood texture with that. This one um, it's called a pucker. So you kind of squeeze these things together. This one's a bloat. And they're really big right now. You can slowly see that moving. Um, and those are the ones I'm just going to use for right now. I'm going to hit OK with this that I have. So there it is. Now I have this thing on uh, on a transparency of multiply. If I turn on my clouds, you still see that, right? There's the transparency, and it's got a texture, and that can make for a fun effect. So if I uh, like I did over here. I left this one at the top, as you can see, I also um, brightened it quite a bit. So I'll probably go ahead and do that because I do like how that turned out. I'm just going to go into my adjustments and do the brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, Let's see, eh, I thought about duplicating. Um, I'll leave this just like this. Okay, so again, it's brighter. Um, you can see it's still blending. And I've kind of got this fun little thing going on. Um, now, what if I wanted to add in um, some other components? I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, the ceramics, because uh, my feet are still showing. And that's just going to drive me nuts. So here we go. And not bad. Not sure I even like the clouds a little bit. But what I think I'm going to do is um, actually focus on this door, because I've already used these before, these effects. So I'm going to do something different. I am going to keep this one here. And uh, I think that's going to be worth worth my time. So um, with, with this here, this door is, is kind of interesting because there's a lot of light. And then, um, you know, it's dark around the edges. Almost like a pinhole effect. So I could turn down the, uh, or turn up the contrast. I turn down the brightness. Start to see the building a little bit better. 
that's going to be a little too much. Um, what I want to do is something that's called a threshold. So if I go into image adjustments, I'm going to come down here to threshold. So what's going to happen, it's going to strip out all the color properties. And it's just this very harsh black and white. And this little slider will allow me to increase, decrease, and so forth. And I'm just going to leave it like this right now. Doesn't look too bad. Kind of get a nice texture. If I turn this back on, maybe do a bit of a overlay with a multiply on top of this ceramics. Now I'm starting to get something that's that's kind of fun. So it, it's unrecognizable at this point. Just to change things up, I have a, a public domain image of this old church in Detroit. And I want to move it into that image or in that into that um, artboard. So if I click and drag, so I'm dragging, dragging, I'm going to hover over this one, drop it right in the middle, and there's in my layers. If I uh, zoom in, you can see that brick wall is still there. Got a nice little effect. Maybe let's look at this really quick. See if there's anything kind of fun about it. Now it's kind of cool. Kind of ghosted that a little. Not really loving it. Do a little bit of... Uh, inversion here or difference and then there's an exclusion those kind of make it kind of a ghostly image and that's playing with this one here the beam so all little subtle changes except for a few like i mentioned before um you can really you know differ quite a bit so but this one here the the church layer one i didn't do anything to so if i turn this one to a multiply it's starting to blend in with the ones below it. Okay, now I kind of got this odd looking building showing up. Go through them, kind of get all sorts of odd effects, right? Kind of like that or that. I don't know. So, um, yeah, these are the kinds of things that you can, it doesn't take time at all i mean you just uh i mean it takes time but practicing coming up with different things and if i turn off uh this door and then now i want to try to blend in this church with this background from or this floor from ceramics and it's starting to show up like it like it belongs there so maybe it's some swirls maybe not really haven't used this floor just to kind of take a look and anyway so these kind of textures they make these um really fun things and i know a lot of mine that i'm showing you are pretty harsh and uh that's just a part of the, the some of the work that i do but uh think of in the digital age when we're creating vector files um i don't even know it's open right now nothing uh, and everything that seems to be really, um, oh, what could I say, like smooth and glossy. Um, we get a lot of that. I'm just going to drag in the skull. And, you know, it's vector. It's, it's smooth. It's perfect. Okay. I'm just going to copy this. And if I dropped it into this here, you know, I'm starting to think now, like, what if I start applying this to, to this type of artwork? And what does it look like if I really play around with um, these things and start to blend them in? And now it feels like, it, you know, I can feel it, I can touch it. And you start to get some, some fun things. So hopefully this makes some sense. Um, 
love to work with you guys on things. Uh, let me know um, what other videos I can make.